Welcome to the Bold Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your support. And for those who subscribe to our channel, I still continue to urge you, kindly subscribe. We try to do analysis here with evidence so that we try to make it devoid of it falls short of propaganda threshold. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday I was in Kamkunji grounds and of course we have spoken about this quite some time. But today, if you've been checking, um, I've been following up what panelists are saying about Raila and Tairuto uh, protest uh, rallies, uh, they're not protest rallies, uh, and something has emerged that Raila made a statement, and this statement has been the center of a discussion in this country. The play and call. One. First, we as a Zimio reject the 2022 election result totally. We cannot and will not recognize the Kenya Kwanzaa regime and we consider the Kenya Kwanzaa government illegitimate. Two, two, we don't recognize Mr. William Ruto as the president of Kenya. I was paying more attention to the mainstream media because the angle they were going to take was going to give me a glimpse of uh, really what the country thinks about it. Remember, uh, if you can realize that Citizen never uploaded a single video of the Raila's event. And that was for the first time. Just go and check their YouTube. You'll not see that video of that rally. They were not there. Um, some few, some other kido kidogo shared. And so I agree with those who are even saying this channel that to some extent, media is a bit suppressed. But I think it's not suppressed. There is some tactical retreat because uh, things are not really as, as they were before. And remember, there is a lot of trying to manage the situation, managing the expectation, and media is one of the tools. So I saw Standard did Raila Bombshell, okay, which was, they made that if you check the next, uh, Standard. Nation also had it a bit, and it's because, of course, the newspaper, it has to take that angle. Actually, newspaper, it's very easy to censure, because they sell <laughs> specifically on other content. So unlike the other broadcast media. Now, the question that many have been talking about here is, when Raila made that information, what is the message? And did President Uhuru Kenyatta approve that message? And I saw Kabando or Kabando, the, I think, Mkwe, is it? I don't remember a parliament from somewhere in Nyeri. I think it's Mkwe, you know, somewhere from Nyeri. Saying that, did Azimio chair um, um, accept that, associate, does he still associate with that message? And um, number two, does it mean that he's not comfortable about how he handed over power? And the fact that Raila is saying that and he was being, uh, he, he was with the previous government, is that selfie or, or is that, is that really casual as many might look at it? Is it casual um, if it is not getting, uh, if it gets the nod of the president? And my, my personal submission has been that the person I saw yesterday, I was standing a few meters from where Raila was standing, and I can tell you, Raila was speaking as a person. Uh, to some extent, I even went emotional. So whether, you, whether others would, would interpret it as are trying to flare the emotions, but he's a human being, so at the end of the day, it can always get to that. So, if you want to find that answer, 
There is something that Raila said. I need you to get this here. Namisho, nataka wambia, waze kutaya jine ya uhuru kila siku. Uhuru ametoka kwa serikali. Halimashia serikali. Gayama isa ilikuwa bari na wezekana. Bei mepanda bada uhuru kutoka. Lakini uhuru kinyata alisimama imara na sisi. Watu yaki walipigia sisi kura. Iliibiwa. Na sema sandeni sana watu wa mkua magaribi wa wakawakati Haku nipigia mimi kura Raila Mwono Odinga Mitakuja kusema asanti Mitakuja kutoa shukurani Lakini yale mbae metoka Lasema kidogo tu mambo badu Kuna yale mbae inakuja Wale wabungi mbae kura yawe niibiwa Hiyo yote inakuja Tu utatavua mingine mingi zaidi Mambo bado hiku hukundani Sawa sawa Kumbi nasema Nataa kuona Hapa kwa mkono enu And that is what That's why people are asking because He also came out defending Uhuru Kenyatta That leave Uhuru Kenyatta alone And this has been something that I think many have been saying That we just needed to forge In the spirit of moving forward uh, we just needed to forge on how we can stay in harmony with the former president instead of the back and forth blame games here and there yeah, they are taking over kenya once is taking over the government or other administration from also another we've had another transition this is not the first transition we are having there was mikey mikey transition to huru kenyatta and then huru kenyatta to william bruto and when Uhuru, even when even when uh, Uhuru came, came into government, things were not good. Not that economy was doing well, but he did not start blaming Kibaki. Actually, they started working. And so that, to me, is what Raila was talking about. However, I took keen interest on that statement that Nitakuja Mount Kenya kusema Sante. And uh, today I, I linked up that as that discussion was going on, I was. I asked some uh, uh, jubilee leader, um, would when when Rala said he was going to mount another comfortable while he going there. And that to me is actually the talk <laughs> that is going on, and uh, it's a reality that uh, Raila might make his first Mount Kenya tour. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? What do you see? I want to I want to see what you're saying in the comment section. What do you think? I am curious about Raila heading to the mountain because let me tell you, it might set the pace for the 2027 early campaigns by default. Simply because the G, the man G, is having a simple script. It's one of the easiest one to do and very simplistic that I will talk about trailer from 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening and again to another 6 in the morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it is during the day, at night, in whatever he is, I keep, everywhere, whether you're talking, he's meeting Bishop, he's meeting US, he's meeting who, he's meeting government people. I know the thing is about Raila Dinka. So that's what I'm saying. That would be a very interesting take. And it will help me, uh, and I think what the country should look at is, number one, President Uhuru Kenyatta, being the shrewd politician he is, uh, he's decided that, you know what, I want to carve out Mount Kenya from Raila Sako. And that's why um, Sabine Chege, Kanini Kega, my MP here, I get I get mamas here that the ground is not going to be very good for him. That's the Mwenje Jr. Uh, Mwenje. And... and is trying to carve out the Jubilee side so that Amos Mwago, is it Amos Mwago, the Star MP, trying to cut them out. But then, it is a blessing in this guy's to one person, Mata Karwa. I know people are talking about Jeremiah Kioni. Ah, Jeremiah Kioni is just a phone call away. This, this is someone who was there at some point and 
I think he was the first person to jump before even Kanini Kega started talking. After the Eala, he ended up coming to Kwanza Kuruka. He just came back. I think he was just dragged back. And I may be wrong, but this some of these people are just angling for some cake and if they are given they will just keep quiet. The, the, the pers- there is one person who would not mind and that's why I have a, t- a lot of um, I, I see a lot of potential in Mata Karwa because Mata Karwa has been out of government for 10 years. So at a year, I think we need also to look at a personal level but politically this is a person who has been out <laughs> for the last like 10 years. So it will test Mata Karwa's political clout. That to me is important because that clout is what is worrying Rigiji. In Kiambu, Rigiji was telling Anwe Guru to look for Karua, to snatch Karua from Raila's circle. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, uh, that will not be it. Snatching Karua will not be to come up Raila's circle, but try to disintegrate or to disorganize Raila's strength to regroup and thinking about 2027 because the country might be getting up to a Kalonzo Karua ticket which is on table as to whether it can challenge or it can mount a successful contest against President Tutu. We may have to know it might be still too early to preempt it on that line. Of course, politics, there are a lot of dynamics that might come into play. So that's one thing I see that Mata Karua is going to be on radar. Guys, I've always not understood how Mata Karua got few number of uh, what was reported was a very small handful of votes, especially even in her county. And when Mata Karua did the first round in mountain in May, she, sh- she shaked the ground. And to some extent, let's see. Now, there is a very big chunk of Raila supporters in Mount Kenya. I will accept if you take that statement as an assumption. But I will also apprise, I'm also apprised of the fact that there is a, a particular cuddle of people or a particular cuddle of people that still coalesce about Raila ideology. I was shocked recently uh, Another reverend, someone called David, called me and told me, Kevin, I have been supporting Raila from 2007 and I've never changed. Oh, I was shocked. Okay. <laughs> to me, that's it. So that uh, that tour would be an effort to try to cement that voting block. The, they are loyal su- support base. There are people who I can tell you that William Ruto benefited from the hustler pendulum, you know, the hustler swing. So these are not people who voted because because of the ideology of the hustler. No, it is to measure emotions, who did that, and this and this, youth, PESA, hustler fund, you know, there's just a lot of things. But on real side, it has uh, it had been taking bit of that. And that's why I look at it all through there have been the vote, uh, uh, the, the vote count, his vote count has, has been increasing. So we yet to see what that would mean. Even though I also look at it this way, um, President Tutu is making serious inroads in the country, serious inroads. And that's why I, when sometimes when people say we should forget about one term president, I tend to take a soft spot on that because. Um, with the office of the presidency, you can do anything, everything. You can get everyone, everything you want. <laughs> and to have fashioned it as a man who is working with developments in the pocket. So if you want development, you need to be around the king. Then akifungua mfuko hivi, akitoa hii na kupea barabara. Ngiza huku, akitoa hii na kupati hospital. Akitoa huku, akitoa hii na kupati ya Bible school. <laughs> so. That has been the nature of, of, of our politics. So it offers that and someone to someone who wants to challenge President Tutu, I'm giving you free advice. I'm paid. Just go to the mountain. Just go to the mountain. If you go to the mountain and you show, you get some might. You just need a might. You don't need to get that. You will already shake. I'm telling you, if you want to bring Ruto back to the campaign trail, go to the mountain. Atarudi. Kwanza atatoka kanisa, 
akitoka kanisa ataita rally believe me you even though i understand he's going to hold a rally when he comes back from france I understand he yet to see eh, because he's supposed to make a tour in um, in kambani yeah so the kambani tour might turn out to be a rally um I am really looking at whether Raila can offer the alternative voice apart from the normal rhetoric. I'm I'm really looking at that because that has been lacking. Um I agree with the analysts who have made it that um it looks like a same script, um the same hardcore activism, but it's a bit devoid of alternative. This I don't want to do If, uh, to to confuse this with the, what's next the people yapping in twitter and facebook kwamba raila has to give us direction if raila says tomorrow we are going to state house utaenda you want to go so ah uh, to see end of violence jamal to see end of violence so um i'm saying uh, we we need bit of a um, of of an alternative voice in terms uh, apart from the combative approach of i reject i want i'm not working with him i'm not there. but then people also should they should also tell some people that when they come back home they say okay mzee ali sema hii or think of saying this i think i can it can also be a discussion out there really. not one that someone just need to react immediately and say okay you're stuck in a emotion it's just my point lastly i'm looking at how the nyeri man Uh, the deputy president is going to manage with his tribal approach of kicking Uhuru Kenyatta and Ray Odinga from a place he believes is his place that is Mount Kenya. I don't know. It's a big trap. It's not secret that Tikiji has taken tribal approach. No, tribe, you know, there's that. So mani kweli kwamba alipoenda Kisumu au Mabei alikaribishwa tunangoja kuona kama Right at Akarbisha. What do you expect guys? That's my take and I have a very interesting interview coming up so make sure subscribe and uh, see you in the next. Who can you tell say hi? Uh, today I was in town and someone was telling no I only said me to sit to talk here. Even uh, the guy at uh, Kamkunji yeah you say hi we meet chit chat to kunyo chai we are Kenyan sir. This 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 politics is uh, It's just is also a job but then kikutana na mimi tuongee bana usiniangalie mpaka karibu zaza wanaenda kuanguka thank you